Well, hi there. If you are a human, and many of you are, then you are an example of a diploid organism. Diploid means that you have two of each type of chromosome that you possess. You got one copy of each chromosome from your mom and one copy from your dad. We actually discussed this in some detail in our video on meiosis. Now might be a good time to watch that, it's right here, if you're feeling at all confused. In the end, you have 23 different types of chromosomes, but you received one of each of those 23 types of chromosomes from each of your parents, giving you a total of 46 chromosomes. Each of those chromosomes contain a large number of genes, and the reality is that there's no guarantee that the copy of the gene that you got from your mom is exactly the same as the copy that you got from your dad. They could be the same, but they could be different. If the copy of the gene that you received from your mom is the same as the copy that you received from your dad, then you are what is called homozygous for that gene. You have a homozygous genotype. The word genotype refers to the type of genes that you have. Now those genes code for something that goes to make you. Since the two copies are the same, they both do the same thing. If they both code for brown hair, then you will have brown hair. If they both code for sickle-shaped blood cells, you will have sickle-shaped blood cells. If they both code for round blood cells, you will have round blood cells. It isn't complicated. What shows up, called the phenotype, will simply reflect whatever the two identical copies of the gene happen to code for. But what if they aren't both the same? What then? Multiple different versions of the same gene are called alleles. They are the same gene, but what they do in the phenotype are not the same. And if you have two different alleles for a gene, instead of two identical alleles, then you are not homozygous. You are what is called heterozygous. Homo meaning same and hetero meaning different. Your two alleles are different, so you are heterozygous. So what happens to your phenotype if your genotype is heterozygous? Really, there are only three possibilities. One of the possibilities is that what one of the alleles does is so conspicuous that you only notice that one in the phenotype. This is largely true for red hair versus brown hair. We already discussed what happens in homozygotes, but a heterozygote will have brown hair pretty much just like a homozygote for the brown hair allele. The allele that shows up in the phenotype in a heterozygote is called a dominant allele. The one that is no longer apparent because of what the dominant allele is doing is called a recessive allele. So one possibility is that one of the alleles could be dominant to the other and only that one will show up in the phenotype. And that happens sometimes. But often they both show up in the phenotype. And if they both show up, there are only two ways that this can happen. One possibility is that both alleles show up everywhere. But since both are showing up and they both do different things, they can't both show up completely. Thus, they blend. The phenotype doesn't look like either of the homozygous phenotypes, but rather something in between. This is what we see with the sickle-shaped and round blood cells that we discussed earlier. Homozygotes have either sickle-shaped or round blood cells, but heterozygotes have blood cells that are somewhat round, but also somewhat sickle-shaped. Because neither allele is expressed completely, neither one is completely dominant to the other. This is therefore called incomplete dominance. But that isn't the only way that both alleles could be expressed in the phenotype. Both of them could be expressed completely. However, if they do different things, and they are both expressed completely, it is impossible that they could both be expressed completely in the same places. And while we're looking at your blood cells, this is what is going on with A and B blood types. People that are homozygous for A blood type have A antigens on the surface of their blood cells. People that are homozygous for B blood type have B antigens on the surface of their blood cells. But heterozygotes have some A antigens and some B antigens. Both are expressed fully, just in different places. They don't blend into something halfway between an A and a B antigen. 
they both are expressed fully, just not in the same place. This is called codominance. So to review, a homozygous genotype means that you have two of the same allele for a gene. Homozygotes express in their phenotype whatever is coded for by the pair of identical alleles that they have. Heterozygotes, on the other hand, are expressed in one of three ways. One allele is expressed completely and masks the other allele, dominant recessive. Neither allele is expressed completely, so you end up with a blend of the two phenotypes coded for by the two alleles, incomplete dominance, or both alleles are expressed completely but in different places, codominance. And now you know. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. Don't hesitate to ask or answer questions in the comments, and we hope to see you real soon.